for me, the lighting is honestly perfect this evening. Happy Easter! I got my Easter basket full. And you might not see the real eggs, but there are actually a lot. He I got one of Allie's eggs. Oh, this one I made. It's a carrot egg. He's so cute. And my personal favorite egg I made. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. It is a chicken egg. There you go. He's cute. But anyways, apart from Easter, I have a story time to tell. I was going to tell my creative kids story. You know that school? You can go look it up if you don't know what it is. Basically, it's like this preschool place. I was going to tell that because it was real, pretty much an interesting story. But instead, I thought to tell a more interesting story. I will be telling you guys the story of how we got our car egged. Let's just get right into it. Okay. So, ma, there was, oh, let's just get, I'm sorry, guys. Let's just get right into it. Oh, and next video, Allie will be do doing a story time. But anyway, so here's how it happened. So, this probably, like, teenage boy, he was probably, like, I don't know. All I know is that he was living with his aunt. He wasn't any kid, but he also probably was still in, like, college or high school. Anyways, he would do this weird... He, for the first few days he moved in, everything was normal. Uh, you know, everything... Well, it, it, he just didn't do anything weird. But probably after the third day, he started parking his car right in front of our house well not right in front of our house but like a couple feet away from our mailbox and that's nearly in front of our house so we're like mm, mm. my dad even though we were all like mm, bruh really how are we supposed to pull out my dad's just like he's probably just sleeping in his car i don't know why he'd be getting away from his aunt oh well, no uh no bad things happened there i'd hope no, definitely not, actually. Um, he'd just sleep, and then he'd, def he'd go back to his aunt's house in the daytime. He'd sleep in his car, and then go back to his aunt's house in the day, and then this happened for nights on nights. And then my grandparents came over. Shout out to my grandparents. They came with their white car, and we were having a fun time for the first few days they were here. I think probably like the fourth day they were staying for a week, we came outside because we needed to go get groceries. And the car is just lathered in eggs. I'm saying eggs everywhere. So at first, me and Allie were like, oh no, the, the, the birds on the roof, like, because we have these birds on our roof that have a nest, and every year they have babies and every year one of them has to go but i didn't think of that for too long and neither did ali because there were eggs everywhere and yeah um a couple um so we were washing it right and when daddy heard the news he said it was the boy he didn't see him but he definitely knew it, he said, because they had parked in his spot. Uh, well, my grandparents' car did, and he had to move a couple um, feet away. So he got mad and threw eggs at our car. So my dad sent a letter to, I'm pretty, no, he didn't send a letter. He said something to the aunt, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. And then he never came again he probably just like i don't know but we never saw him again on our curb after he egged our car um yeah i think daddy said something to aunt and the aunt and then he's just gone but um yeah it's oh hey ellie okay but um yeah that was a re it was really weird but like once daddy just said something to the aunt we, we never jeez you scared me we never saw him again but anyways, guys, that is the story. I know, it was pretty interesting. But anyways, guys, if you liked this video, hit that subscribe button and notification bell and like button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.